Hello everyone, Moshe the Electric Israeli coming to you from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, we just bought a condo here, my wife and I. Going to Whole Foods, just supercharged my car. Uh, if you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all my supporters. Support me on Patreon. If you're in the market to buy a Tesla car, please use my referral code. Thank you for those who have. I appreciate it. And I want to tell you, I want to tell you, that my prediction is between two to four years, Tesla will absolutely decimate Uber, Lyft, and Waymo at least in major cities that they will enter. Whichever city that they will enter, eventually it will be the end of, especially Waymo. And here's why, here's what I think why. Uh, when Tesla launched the uh, robotaxi in South Texas, in South Austin, Texas, I thought that the $4.20, which is obviously a mean price, the April 20th, those who know what that is, Elon Musk loves that number for some reason. He's very infantile sometimes. Uh, I thought it was just a gimme. I don't think so anymore. I really don't think so anymore. Here are some numbers. Waymo, when Waymo entered, let's say, San Francisco, I've heard my nephew lives there. When Waymo entered San Francisco, immediately their market share went to 25%. Now, Waymo is much more expensive than Uber. Let's say a $20 ride in Waymo would cost you maybe 15 in Uber. So why people choose more expensive? Why are they willing to pay premium? Well, let me tell you my experience. I drive Uber, I actually Lyft. I drive, I drive, I drive Lyft once a week, maybe two, three rides just for fun. Last week, I took this nice passenger. He was very disgruntled because he just got fired from his work. And now it was a 40 minute drive. And I had to hear his life story, how much he hates his boss and all that. I was not uncomfortable, but I was just annoyed. On the flip side, a couple months ago, I took an Uber from my house to Newark airport. And the, the very nice driver told me all his whole life story, how he can't get a job, how he got divorced. And the car was filthy. He smokes, which I cannot i'm irritated by by a uh, cigarette smoke or weed sometimes i pick up a passenger who just smoked weed i don't like it or nice ladies who forgot to stop spraying themselves with uh, with perfume which reeks i'm very you get the point so people would pay premium for autonomous driving that is you know, are you on your own? You can listen to your music. You can do do your thing without being bothered by some disgruntled driver. And also Uber, which spends millions and millions of dollars on recruiting drivers. I tell you something. When I drive my two, 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 three uh, uh, pass passengers a week, when I get like a, 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 an invitation for a drive from where I am to Brooklyn, I'm nothing against Brooklyn. Even if it's 60, 70, I don't take it. A, I don't feel like going to Brooklyn. B, once you cross the state line, you cannot drive in Brooklyn. You have to go back. It's just not worth it. Totally not worth it. Or if it's too short of a ride. Or if you took a ride by mistake and you realize it's so too, too far for that price. Not in autonomous driving. They pick up any ride and they'll take you. Now, having said all of this, Tesla, which can unleash its mighty power of dumping as many Model Ys as they want and next year as many cyber cabs as they want onto each city. Think about it. I think the 420 is going to stay. Think about AC, that's like Manhattan. You can divide Manhattan, it's a huge city, you can divide it to six zones. The, 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 the Lower East Side, you know, a little portion on top, downtown, midtown, uh, upper west side, upper east side, uh, you know, up, you know, all the way up to the Bronx. <clears throat> and each zone is 420. You have a predictable price. Now you cross from zone to zone, 840. You cross to another zone, <clears throat> 1680. So basically, you have a predictable price. How about the subscription? You live in the city, you use uh, 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 ride sharing all the time. 
How about just like a subscription of FSD and, 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 and Tesla? How about this? Uh, depends. Weekly, monthly, daily. I, I, I go to a lot of conferences through my work. Uh, let's say I, I went to Boston last year or to Denver two years ago. How about I'll buy a $50 voucher to take as many rides as I want? Do you understand the power of what Tesla can do? Car ownership. Why would anyone want to pay thousands of dollars on, uh, on parking spots in Manhattan? I have a friend. She lives in, in Manhattan. She pays thousands of dollars a year just to park her car at the building where she is so she can use it every now and then. Why would you want to do that? Why do you need a car at all? If you live in the city, you know what I mean? Or in a big city, that would be crazy. So the disruption that is coming, because Tesla have its power to unleash as many cars as they want, they have zero expense on recruitment of drivers like Uber does. They have zero constraint on the amount of cars that they need, unlike Waymo that has to build them, that has to buy them. I think they're gonna move a switch to Zeker now has to buy them, that has to put all these tremendous amount of sensors and lidars and radar, and they limited in, in quantity. When Tesla can unleash a thousand cars, 5,000 cars per city, and the wait time is basically two minutes. And the amount of, of riders is negligible because they can send you a bigger car or the two-seater or whatever it is that you need. To wherever you want and there's no geofencing eventually now that the, now there is there's no geofencing so for example let's take M M manhattan where this is where i live uh, the area that i live so uh, so let's say uh, uh waymo can drive in the island of manhattan that's the geofence because it's a lot of mapping and it's very expensive and all these monitors behind the scenes tesla can drive in manhattan in brooklyn in Staten island in Long Island, in Jersey City, in uh, in Bergen County, in the Bronx, anywhere, anywhere in the what we call the Manhattan cluster, and it's not far. In miles, it's not far at all. It's right there. You know how many people live there? Twenty million people between uh, uh, Manhattan, the five boroughs, Long Island and all of a, a Bergen County area in, uh, in, in, in that area. H here I am, I'm in Lauderdale, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood. Uh, do you know how many, uh, Lauderdale by the sea, Pampano, do you know how many people live here? Millions of people. There's no geofencing needing, needed at all. You don't have to recruit drivers. You don't have to worry about uh, uh, getting an Uber uh, in the middle of the night because nobody wants to drive. Tesla doesn't have to have a surcharge. You know, if you drive Uber, there's a big surcharge for midnight to 4 a.m. because nobody wants to do it. So Uber has to pay you more and give you more incentives to drive. Do you want to drive with somebody at 1, 1 a.m. or 2 a.m.? Somebody, I, I, I met a driver in Las Vegas and I asked him, what's his hours? He said, I work from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Do you want to drive with that guy? Do you want to pick up a ride with that guy at 4 a.m.? That's crazy. So you get a clean preset, all your settings, all your uh, Netflix, all the music, the, 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 uh, uh, the, the levels, the air condition, anything you need. Anything you need, you have in your car, in your clean Tesla, safe, beautiful car. What would you do for a fraction of the price? I am telling you, this is going to be over for them much sooner than you think. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys for watching.